What are you doing today, Mom? Well, I'm trying to use up my scraps. I save all of my scraps in, in this thing. I have three of these things for each color. I, I store my black. Well, like here's black. I have my black embellishments and stickers, my black scraps, and my black letters. And I'm working through each color and using up my scraps. I've gone through my multicolor and the black, brown, yellow, orange, red, pink, and now I'm working on, on purple. And what I'm doing is I love making tags. So I'm making bases for tags. And I've collected a lot of cereal boxes and stuff. And I've cut out a lot of tag bases. Um, and I don't have any kind of punch or cutters. I I cut them with my paper trimmer and then I just snip off the edges and then I'll use one as a pattern to cut, cut, cut the next one. So I've made a ton of these. If you've seen my border insanity video, this is kind of working up toward my tag insanity video. So I'm working on purple now, but let's say the pink here, I made a lot of pink because I have so much pink. So these are some of my tags. Well, I'm gluing the scraps onto these bases. And these are like the some strips I had. And I'm just gluing them onto the bases, which I'll then decorate into make into fancy tags. This was the as is. I liked that. So, and I'm making them all different sizes. This was from a Kleenex box. That's so pretty. So I'm making those. Using up my stuff to make tags which I will later decorate like this let's see here's one of my fancy tags I've made with those scrap borders here's one of my fancy tags here's some fancy tags and I decorate my scrapbook pages with those there's some embellishments I have made I'm gonna go my next step is to go through and play with all of my em embellishments make some embellishments and some fancy tags but for now I'm just working on getting through these scraps and using up the smaller pieces and so I, I've made a lot of the tags and I'm working on purple now and then I need to do the blue and the green so today I'm working on purple and then also with my scraps I make with this really small scraps I don't like to make any of these these are just the size for photo mats and so I use the small scraps and screw them and glue them around the edge and then I trim off the back make them smooth and then here's a photo so there's a photo mat you know I hate to waste any scraps and, and I, I really do use these up and these will be filed with my um, here's my photo mats box and they will be filed with that so I'm using those and also I'm making some of these sheets with some there's just so many of them so I'm doing these and what do I do with these well I love scrapbooking but I also love making glue books here's one of my glue books that's my favorite one the Holly Hobby glue book and I've, I've videotaped um, flip throughs of all of my glue books so you can flip through and see them and these are from magazines and calendars and scraps and just and I love Victorian stuff but I hardly ever get the opportunity to use it on my scrapbook pages because my photos are not Victorian but so this gives me a chance to use up all that stuff and have fun with it so I got a page here I marked it this page I took a lot of black scraps and glued them on here and that's just a way to use them up so that's what I'm going to do with those so those pages will be for my my glue books and I could actually even use them on a scrapbook page if I wanted to so I'm going to make a tag and then that'll be all I'm going to show you well I've got oh, so many of these I've been making a lot of these I had a pad of paper and every color sheet had a little bit of extra on it and I don't throw anything away. So I'm going to take one of these. Most of these I made 3 by 5